What's happening, everyone? Mall review time, baby. Time for a very special malt review. Monster. We are going to be doing a legendary old school Ardbeg. This is Ardbeg 1976 vintage. This was bottled in 2008. How old does that make? It's a good question. <laughs> so bottled in 76. I mean, bottled in 2008, distilled in 1976, and this is cask number 2397. I'm going to bring this up close so you guys can see the little details on there. I'd say it's about 32 years old, baby. So over 30-year-old cask strength from the 70s, Ardbeg, from a sherry cask, bottled at 52.4% ABV. Yeah, so in 1976 was kind of the legendary decade for Ardbeg, for Sherry. 74 was heavy bourbon, 72 was heavy bourbon, 76 is some of our favorite Sherry, Sherry Butts. This is Sherry Butt 2397, and about 32 years old, all cask strength, single casks. Monsters. Unbelievable. Monsters. There is uh, 519 of these ever bottled, obviously single cask. This is bottle 168. Oh, monsters. This has been breathing for a good 30 minutes. Let you guys look at that code. Look at that natural, beautiful art. Yeah, of course. All natural color, non chill filter, the good stuff. Oh, it comes in this pretty simple box, nothing fancy. This was an auction purchase for us. I'm trying to think of what it currently goes for at auctions. I'm going to say at least $4,000, but I haven't seen this bottle or paid attention to this particular cask in a while, but it's probably somewhere in that range. It's about right. Um, just legendary. These old, again, the Isla Distilleries, we talk about it with Beaumore and Lafroy, and especially Ardbeg too, they're just so different back in the day. Everything. The and pee, how, yeah, the pee, everything. The sherry, everything. Oh, yeah. But um, you guys have heard us, if you watch our reviews regularly, you've heard us say that a lot about Allied Distilleries um, from back in the day. But without further ado on the nose. Let's do it. And this will be fascinating because we, we've talked about recently the difference between old Lefroig Pete and new Lefroig Pete. Let's see about the Ardbeg. This is so complex. It's it, it's actually so complex where it almost is like becomes challenging. There's just so much going on all at once. But you get this insanely delicious sweet peat in the background. And right there amongst all of it, you're just getting a bunch of different of a sweetness with fruits and dessert elements. You're getting oh fruits that you just <laughs> normally don't get. You're getting, oh you're getting god. blueberries and oh bananas. Heavy, heavy, heavy! Oh my god! And it's not just blueberries; it's like a blueberry pie, right? It's like a blueberry pie with that, oh with that sweet oh crust and that sweet blueberry sauce, jammed up with sugar. Why can't they make it like this anymore, dude? And there's there's red berry fruits. There's tropical fruits like barbecue, pineapples. There's hints of coffee even in there. And the icing sugar makes you, it's one of those icing sugars that makes you want to bite the glass. I just want to get to the liquid. It's, it's like that. And the peat is just so sweet, yet it's got that Ardbeg tar element, but in a very, it's in a soft and sweet kind of way it does it does have like it has like the straight up like creosote but it's like crystallized candy creosote which is nuts then there's like this other element like you're kind of walking through a forest and you could smell the trees but like it's been raining for correct a year yeah like it's been raining but you could taste that like kind of pininess there's a rum raisin element to it yeah like kind of like like kind of eucalyptusly like like camping like your you know your freshest like camping experience. Vanilla ice cream. Oh my god, man! <laughs> oh my god, the Ardbeg Sherry, man. It's 
It's so complex. It's got that art bigginess to like the bandages and the tar. It's still got that. That's the beauty of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still got that. But it's got a lot of stuff that is hard to get these days in the new stuff. It's sherry, but it's not heavily shared at all. Um, it's so fruity, right? When it, it highlights the, the character of Ardbeg of the distillery perfectly. But yeah, no, yeah, it's sherry, but it's like, I don't, even, I don't even think of it. Like, it's like, I think of Ardbeg sherry, but I don't think of it like you would like all these like, you know, dried figs and chocolate and toffee and prunes and stuff. It's like but I definitely, crazy. But I definitely fruits. do, when you say chocolate, I definitely get chocolate and toffee in there as well, but it's more in the background. Yeah. But it's just so fruity and so complex. So it takes you so many on, different yeah. places. I don't want to repeat everything I said, but wow. I would say honestly, the bi the biggest things that like Narvi said, the biggest things is literally like pure blueberry compote, blueberry pie, like the best blueberry pie ever, like a la mode with vanilla ice cream on it, and barbecue toasted bananas, like bananas flambe, bananas Foster, with like the peat being used to char on top of the bananas. Bananas Foster. Knows it again though, and, and, and just think barbecued pineapple and bacon as well though. Oh yeah. Oh, and nice. that's the thing, it sounds nice. weird, right? It's We're nice. mentioning notes of blueberries and banana. It's like, what, what the hell are you talking about? Not notes, honestly, I don't think I've ever mentioned some of those notes in whiskey before. Maybe banana, but I don't think I've ever gotten blueberry from anything else before. I've tried no. a lot of whiskey. It's rare. Um, that's what some of these older art bags kind of bring out. This also has a kind of a grapefruit element as well in there. I mean, you just keep going on and on and on. I don't know how long we want to make the review because people will stop watching. But, but yeah, it's so funny. Like, we'll talk about, like, say, like other reviews. We'll talk about, like, the Beaumont distinctive mangoes, the Lafroy distinctive mangoes, like kind of salty tropical fruits. And art bag has their own unique old school fruits going on, like these blueberries. You can't find it in any other whiskey that I've ever tried, any other distillery that I can think of. This is it's just very the, unique. The, these old Isla monsters, man, are just, it's why we're so into whiskey. I love it's that crazy. pine tree element, that, that foresty element to it. Absolutely. You can hear we're going blueberries, forest, like, this is complex, man. Yeah, even from, this you know, nuts. coffee and chocolate and toffee in, the, in there. Oh, well. yeah. And no, it's all, it's all in there. The bandages and tar and it's still art bag. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Fifty-two point four percent. You just dig in your nose, you don't feel any alcohol no, whatsoever. No, zero. Zero. So necessary for all the flavors in there. Cask straight. Oh. Palette? Palette. This is oh, this is amazing. expect it on the palate to be more peaty and, and, and the peat elements to just completely take over but the peat elements are here and the fruit elements are in the front the, it is so luscious I would guess this was closer to like 48% but in terms of flavors it's cask strength but you do not want to add any water to it. You know already because it's so juicy. It's so juicy on the palate. Like what could water possibly do to this? I mean, I'll add a drop just for the sake of the review, but it is all those, all of that, that blueberry pie with the vanilla ice cream, um, going with the grapefruit, the barbecued banana, the barbecued pineapple, the bacon element, that salty bacon element, and you're definitely getting that, that tar, Ardbeg tar here in the back, but it's just adding to that complexity and it's in a sweet way, it's in a softer way. It's not attacking you the way that some of the current Ardbegs do. Of course, it's also aged over 30 years, so it's gonna be different. It's gonna mellow out regardless. 
Um, but it's a complexity party and you're getting all kinds of things going on. And, and for that, it's a, it's a master piece of the whiskey. E, I, 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 one of the things that we focused on in our journey is, is trying to grab all, all the spring bank bottlings that were released. And perhaps we didn't grab enough of these older art bags because they, they are just insanely legendary as well. But yes, sir. this is amazing. And the finish is just going and going. I mean, it's just Never not really. stopping. Never it's really. 100% of the flavor that I had when I swallowed this is still fully there. And it's probably gonna keep going for a while longer. Although you say a few words, I'm gonna put a, a drop of water in each one of our glasses. It's crazy. Basically everything Norby said, but beyond all of that, like everything, all the beauty of the notes, like the blueberry pie, the barbecued banana, the chocolate, the bacon, the most unique thing I got right away on the palate, obviously zero burn. The cask strength is perfectly, beautifully oily, wonderful mouthfeel, but the biggest thing was the most unique, slightly sweet, but so fresh, refreshing, eucalyptus, pine, and peat candy. Just unbelievable that I've never gotten before. Literally like a flavor that takes you on the most amazing fresh camping trip in the morning and you're just hiking through the woods. But yet it's sweet, it's refreshing, it's dessert-like, it's satisfying, it's unbelievable. And this is why I say, you can only get this stuff from these old whiskeys. You can't get this from food or if you try to make it or make a dessert or something, or experience. It's just unbelievable. So true. It's unbelievable. It's so true. We're coming up with like notes that like, you know, stuff we haven't tried. <laughs> but it's what's, it's what's going into our brain when we're putting it on the nose and palate. Absolutely. Try, try the nose with a drop of water. That's actually almost improving it. I don't know how, but it is. You thought I couldn't get that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nuts. I'm gonna do it on the palate one more time with a drop of water. This, oh my God, it's so nuts. Oh. I won every 1976, man. I wanted to try them all. Oh my God. What a year for our bag. We have 74, 75 even, yeah. and 76, yeah. those three years. Wow. Well, there's 60s too. 67. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I would say it actually mellows it out a little bit on the palate. It, it's less of the, less of the attack, less, oh. almost a little less of the peat even, and just incredibly luscious. Either way. As is, or a drop of water. I'll probably just drink it as is, but unbelievable. Score-wise, score, score wise, for me, this gets an unbelievable 95 out of 100. I just can't, I don't, I can't go any lower. It's that good. Oh my God. 96 out of 100, baby. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. All right, you guys. Mm. We will um, keep doing these these kind of reviews. Leave a comment. Let us know if you guys actually like us, because I know with these special whiskeys, we go a lot longer. Let us know if you'd like that for the special a little bit longer, kind of allowing us to kind of explain the complexity of it and how special it is. Sometimes that does take a little bit more time, but I understand a lot of people don't like watching more than four or five minutes, so let us know what you guys think on that. Um, and um, any questions you guys have about older art bags or older whiskeys in general, auction bottles, we're always here to answer. We answered everything, emails or comments below. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Push the like button. It's much appreciated. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers.